It's your boy Busy, back at it again. I'm here with another episode of Tibia Hunts. Uh, today's episode will be for my premium players, and we will be hunting in the Nomad Caves north of Ankerman. You will have to do a small task for Arito in Ankerman before getting access to the cave. Um, I'll go over all the items needed. I'll show you exactly what to do for the quest. The Nomad Cave is a great hunt for anyone level 12 to about 30. Um, the experience is alright. You will be getting exceptional gold if you pick up all the rope belts. Depending on the server you're playing on, rope belts are an absolute necessity and they'll typically fetch you between 3 to 4k each on the market. With all that out of the way, let's go ahead, get into the task for Arito, and go ahead and check out the Nomad Cave. So now that we're here in Ankerman, um, obviously you could buy some of these items from the shop from the market. I went ahead and hunted nomads to the point where I found a nomad parchment. All right, so here's the parchment here. Um, it is very rare to find the parchment. You do have to kill a lot of nomads. Um, otherwise, you could purchase it from the shop. So if I just wanted to be lazy and cop the parchment off the shop, the nomad parchment can be bought on the shop for about 150 gold. Um, and then also the scimitar can probably be purchased on the shop as well. So we'll go ahead and, and cop a scimitar. Yep, you will need a scimitar like this. It can also be looted off of um, fire devils, honor guards, naga warriors, orc leaders, orc warlords, renegade orcs. Um, so basically, you know, you can find them on any of these. And then also we're going to need a vial of water. And <laughs> That actually took me quite a while to figure out how to get, um, so I'm just going to show you. We'll go talk to a met. You can buy a bottle. Okay, once you have the bottle, we will be walking it to the ocean down here, and you'll just click on the bottle, and it will fill it with water. All right. To check to make sure your bottle is actually filled with water, we went ahead and clicked look, and we do see a bottle of water. So let's head over to Arito now. He is, uh, he lives southwest here in Ankerman, so it's not a very difficult journey. Alright, now that we're here in the post office, um, he's upstairs, so you would say hi to Arito. And obviously I've already started the quest, but you would say nomads, yes to Arito, um, and he would ask you to go on a small quest. Um, once you deliver to him the parchment, you know, you'll give this to him um, and obviously he will send you on the quest to find the hidden door to the Nomad Cave. Yeah, we're going to head north out of the gate here to the through the desert all the way north to the mountains. Alright, head out the north gate. The most difficult part about this task, honestly, is just getting through the desert. Um, it just takes a few minutes. Um, it's a pretty long walk, but once you get to the mountains dividing Ankerman from Darasha, that will be um, the area where the Nomad Cave is. While we make this journey, um, quick shout out to today's sponsor, my Patreon. Patreon slash 2 and Busy for anyone wanting to support the channel. It absolutely means everything to me. There's different tier levels for anyone um, curious. So depending on how much you're willing to give to the channel, you know, there is different reward tiers. So yeah, just check that out. I will leave the link in the description below. Looks like someone's already at the secret entrance. All right, so once you've reached the most northern area of the mountain here, between Ankerman and Darasha, you'll get to an area that looks like this, and you'll just walk up these stairs. Stand in between this rock here, um, and you drop the scimitar to your left. You'll, you'll know you've done this correctly because it won't let you move the scimitar, and it'll be placed in these cracks, leaning up against the rock. Then you'll take your vial of water, and this is very important you don't miss but to the right of you or two spaces to the right of the crack you will use the water on the floor and voila the door will open baby all right so let's go on in you will see inside a teleporter go ahead and enter this teleporter and i will say be careful because you can be overwhelmed fairly quickly here uh, but yeah you'll just go in uh, this is the first floor obviously there are basically only nomads here um, and the only other creature you will find are scorpions. So if you are a very low level, make sure you come equipped with Exana Pox. You do not want to be caught lacking down here. You know, if you're uh, poisoned and you have no way of getting rid of that poison, you know, it can... You can suffer for a long time. 
Um, even at my level, it, it is quite tedious. Basically just uh, kite as many enemies as you're prepared to fight at once. You know, I wouldn't recommend coming in here and uh, being unprepared. Because then you just, you just risk dying, you know, and you, you, you don't want to die. I don't want to see any of my... I don't want to see any of my Tibian brothers or sisters dying here. Um, this little northern route is kind of useless. Um, mostly just scorpions. There's rooms to the north and to the south here that you will find a, quite a few nomads in. Go ahead and showcase these rooms now. So here's one of the rooms. Four nomads in this room. And like I said, you can effectively hunt here till about level 30. Um, it does get a little grindy after that level. But it's a perfect place to come looking for rope belts. Like I said, um, not much going in the way of loot, but those rope belts are an absolute essential to most characters. So you'll be able to get a pretty good price on the market. I typically sell my rope belts uh, for 3.5k each. So it makes these hunts, even for my level, fairly worth it. Like if I'm just trying to have like a relaxing hunt, I don't have to really use much of my mind <laughs> you know I'll just come in here and and just hunt all right next we'll get to these stairs here and we're gonna go ahead and walk up you will be greeted of course by a bunch of nomads beat them up yeah Knights will have I think the most most success here because um, you're not really having to go through any waste to hunt here you know you're not having to use arrows you're not having to use mana pots um, so the gains are just going to be exponential whereas you know paladins and mages you will gain a lot here but you're gonna have some waste all right we got our first rope belt baby let's go hey we got a guy hunting Yeah, I'm just showcasing these rooms. I'm not going to be trying to take this dude's hunt. Um, but there are, you know, small rooms that are filled with nomads. And then you have one to the north here as well. Um, like I said, if you're a really low level, try not to... Try not to get swarmed, you know, because nomads do run away from you at low health. So, you know, once they reach red health, you know, you go chasing the nomad deeper in to their little hut. And you're going to get overwhelmed. Right, you come down this level obviously you're gonna have multiple rooms like I said a room to the north room to the south other various rooms where the nomads like to hang out and smoke that hookah they like to smoke that hookah we're actually gonna be nice to homeboy here and um, give him a rope belt we paid the tribute all right, so we head north, head on north into this little nomadic region here. Of course, the nomads like to get twisted. They eat bananas all day, so you can come in here and get you some bananas, get you some grapes as well. Yeah, I wanted to give that dude something for, for you know, rushing his, uh, his spot. All right, if you go down this way, uh, all that's down here is rot worms, but, you know, if you're, if you're hungry, if you're in need of food, you know, um, obviously you want to maintain your fed status. So coming down here is just a nice little way, you know, to cop some food, free food. Can't really beat it. You know, there's not much going on down here. Raw worms, carrying worms, pretty standard little loot. And so that's about it for down there. All right, we'll go to the right here. Down another stairwell and absolutely just maim these boys. Another rope belt, absolutely exceptional. All right, here's where a lot of nomads like to reside. So I like to gather them all in one little, one little area like this. Just pretty much slaughter them. Let's finish uh, doing this route. Uh, this does dead end here at the north, and we'll cut back to those uh, the, to that ladder at the bottom there. Hey, a potato, not a bad little pickup. 
Yeah, if you don't feel like going down to hunt the rotworms and carrion worms, occasionally the nomads will actually drop potatoes. Um, and if you're lucky, you can get a nice little handful of potatoes and won't actually have to go out of your way to collect any other food. Uh, cold bodies with long teeth have lowered the temperature down in the Ankerman Mardi's tombs. Stay out of the Mardi's tombs today, baby. If you're not prepared for them vampires, stay out of the tombs. It's not even the vampires I'm worried about. It's the uh, master vampires and the bride, baby. Sheesh. Okay, here's a Muhad. If you actually wanted to finish the quest that you started, you would come speak to Muhad. Okay, look for the right pillar in Ankraman. Enter the cellar of the thieves. Obtain the casket for Muhad and escape unrecognized. So yeah, that's just further on in the quest. Um, I might have to do a, a whole video on the quest here in the Nomad's Land. For our boy Muhad. You know, once you've slaughtered and maimed all that you wish to kill here, you basically just leave and restart. See, look at this. Four rope belts. Technically five rope belts if we wouldn't have given one away. In just a few moments, so that's not bad. This is actually um, one of the ways in and out. This is actually the entrance, the secret entrance here. Boom. So yeah, we're out here on the surface. If you're at the stairwell, then you just walk south, east, and the easiest way to find it is in between all these plants. It'll be right here. And then you get your uh, shovel and you just start shoveling. And there you have it, the entrance, the secret entrance. And obviously you've already seen, seen the way that takes us. Y'all yeah, run back through this direction from the secret entrance just to give you a good idea of what to expect uh, from the other way. Plenty of rotworms here to gather up some food before entering, which is not bad at all. But yeah, depending on how much time you're willing to spend here, um, you know, but in, in each hunt, I've made upwards of 30 rope belts. So, you know, if you're willing to put in the time, you can definitely get, get what you want out of it. You know, if you're looking to grind, uh, the time up to get that that new piece of gear that you really want. This is, I think, a superior way of going about it. Especially for those lower levels, because you're going to be getting good experience. You're going to be, you know, having a good time, having a good hunt. Yeah, see, this is what you got to be careful of. They absolutely will swarm you. Uh, so if you're a low level, or if you're a, uh, you know, if you're a mage, or if you're just not ready to take all that damage, they can easily overwhelm you I don't much bother with the scorpions but you know it is a nice addition to the experience just being able to kill them and we'll give homie just one more rope belt just for the additional passage and like I said there are these beautiful little rooms where they like to hide away just filled with enemies. I mean, just look at them. Look at all the damage. Eat them potatoes, baby. Steak and potatoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, one of my least favorite things about the nomads is just how how they always like to run away at low health. So you will be chasing them. You know, they're all going to be trying to scatter. And you just don't want to be chasing them into more enemies. Because you can get overwhelmed. Alright, back down here. Start beating up on these nomads. Feel free to take more of the loot than I do. I just don't find it really worth anything. Um, the dirty turbans, the scorpion tails... You know, most of those items aren't really worth really bothering with. Slaughter these dudes, man. So yeah, we found eight. Eight rope belts. Not bad at all. I went ahead and gave two of them away. I wanted to be nice about it, you know. And I don't ever go up to this roundabout area to the north. I just pretty much kill these two. 
and then I head up. This is the last room before the teleporter out of here, so I like to kite pretty much all the enemies. Like I said, I would not recommend doing this if you're a really low level. Beautiful stuff. Um, and then I, I just leave out this exit and it's the teleporter, beautiful. I will warn you, once you leave out of here, um, obviously you can go back in the tel teleporter, but once you leave out of here, you cannot get back in. The door itself is closed. You'll need another scimitar and vial of water. Or, like I said, you could just walk down the steps and just reopen the, uh, you know, the little entrance here. Boom. And then just reopen the entrance, go back down, and repeat the cycle. You can basically do that as much as you need for as much time as you're willing to devote. Um, absolute gains. Um, if you happen to have a prey card or hunting task available for the nomads, that's even better. You know, your chances of uh, collecting rope belts can just be even higher, which is just perfect. Or the hunting task, for example, you'll just get those, um, those hunting task points super easily because all you'll be hunting is the nomads. Shout out my boy Grinius for letting us, uh, you know, basically steal his hunt from him for a few minutes. I wasn't trying to be mean, Grinius. I just wanted to make this video, knock this thing out, and uh, I really do appreciate it, my guy. Yeah, let me know in the chat. Uh, do you guys like to hunt here? Is this a preferred hunting area for you guys at low levels? Do you like to come here to get that uh, to get that extra gold from the rope belts? All right, let's see how much we can sell these rope belts for. I'm just kind of curious. So yeah, like I said, about 3.5k each. So if we sell these six, we make 21k. No problem, dude. That's going to be just about it for today, guys. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell to be notified for future videos. And I'll see you next time. Peace.